So that uh, fire bomber came in this morning to off the fire retardant and it was right to that ridge. So, I don't know, 85 feet maybe? A sleepless night followed by a stressful day. Those living along Apex Mountain fear their homes may be lost to a wildfire measured at 100 hectares and growing. Trying to keep water on the wood and stuff to keep the ashes from falling and, and kind of burning and getting a, a fire started. So the guys from the fire brigade have been really good about giving direction on what to do to try to help you know the situation until I have to evacuate. Believed to be human cause, the fire called for aggressive action, putting at least six homes on an evacuation alert. Mark Kildrew isn't in immediate danger, but he's being proactive at keeping his house safe. Yeah, I went into town actually to work today, and she called me just after nine because the fire was just right here on the hill, which is you know a couple hundred feet away from our place. So I zipped back up just to be here. So if fire does come down, we can at least spray it down and stuff like that. There's a few of the homes here that were very defensible and did good fire smart landscaping. So we stayed with them through the night and wetted down with them and they did themselves. And uh, several of the homes are safe even if the fire breaches by them. But even if an evacuation order is put in place, those at Apex Mountain Guest Ranch won't be going far. It's a heritage house. There's so much history here. Nobody wants to see it burn down. However, Dunn is still taking every precaution necessary to save what she can. The animals all got evacuated this morning. Um, you know, the horses, there's 20 horses that were here. They're all in safe spots. Dogs, cats, chickens have all gone elsewhere. So it's just us human beings waiting. We've done a couple of car loads to a friend's house. Crews are tending to the fire around the homes, but are unable to fight the flames upslope. We haven't called any containment. Uh, we're looking at uh, containment could be a week away. Um, we do it piece by piece and meaning that we want to make sure we contain by the highway and the homes and then we'll start going up slope with the manpower and the resources and again it's that whole combination of things because it isn't just the air tankers that put it out they don't fly at night it isn't just the helicopters it's the water tenders the crews the dozer it's the whole combination so it's going to take a duration. With numerous fires burning around the province, the apex blaze is a priority, and Castanet will keep you up to date on the developments in the future. Jen Zielinski in Penticton for Castanet News.